Yeah, hello guys. How are you doing? Once again, the Banter Blitz session, which means that uh, soon we start the tournaments as well. Soon we start the tournaments of the Champions Tour. The next one is on March 13th. Right the next day after my birthday, hopefully. So let me see the challenges and uh, let me see the links to the YouTube and stuff. Um, okay. Okay, this one is there. And now the YouTube link and I'm ready to go. Not like literally go, but just uh, generally ready to start. Yep. Okay. So let's start the game and then talk. As we're supposed to. Challenges. CT Hake. Okay. Okay. She's playing fast. Um. Let's see what he wants against our super system that we developed with Anish. The bishop goes to e7, knight g to f6. And then, then I don't know. This is the problem of the system, that then I don't know. Yeah. Oh, feeling... Um, not that bad after the talk especially with chuchilov today that i had on my channel on my youtube channel it was cool talking to him and um, we just discussed all the possible subjects about um, you know about the coaching and all that stuff and he was giving a lot of interesting information check it out on the youtube channel of mine just really a cool talk i really enjoyed it even though I know a lot of stuff, I know him for a long time, but this was really pure enjoyment. And after that, I'm feeling motivated and confident. Uh -huh. Okay, 96 maybe. So, yeah. We discussed coaching, we discussed his work with Anish Giri, with Fabiano Caruana, with world's best players. And we have discussed the launch of the academy, of my academy, Chestars Academy by me. Yeah, where he will be the head coach and so on. So pretty, pretty much of the stuff. Happy that we had this great conversation today. And uh, yeah, it's a tough thing, you know, coaching the best players in the world, dealing with their emotions, with all that stuff. Not easy at all. Let me try to bring the knight there. Hmm. Possible. Okay, this is not a bad move. For sure. Um, should I go with h5? Should take it. And then he will take with the pawn. Can I sacrifice it all there? Mm. Uh, can I really sacrifice it all? Let's try, let's try. Oh, maybe bishop g4, he will take with it. Okay, let's take this one and see. Mm -hmm, yeah, took with the queen. Can I pick up the pawn there? Like this. And take b4. Should not be that bad, right? Hmm. <clears throat> Yeah, I took the pawn, then I can bring my knight back maybe to a6 and c5. My bishop, yeah, is not really cool. Let's be fair. And say that it's not really cool. Can I go next to h5 and then knight to d4? Try it this way. <clears throat> Let me check the chat.
Okay, I see a lot of questions. So I'll just sit down just a moment. Also have to publish in Twitter, I think. But we're here. We'll be happy to have more people asking questions. Open to this. Um, yeah. Okay, 92 is not bad at all. And what should I do now? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Complicated. Yeah. Share the link now. Can he take it on G4 simply? Mm. <laughs> Probably he can. Oh, he didn't take it. Let's try this then. He doesn't want to open up the H line, probably. <clears throat> he doesn't want to open up the H line, but yeah, my idea was to go for Castle Long. Um, let's go for Castle Long anyway. Whatever happens, happens. Yeah, this was expected. Expect the expected. Mm -hmm. Can I go like crazy stuff? Bad move, but who cares? Who cares? Maybe G takes H3 is in the air somewhere, possibly. Okay, nice. Attack the queen. What's my next move? Nobody knows. Terrible. Just terrible decision. Just terrible. Yeah. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Yeah, where should I go now? Yeah, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. He did a lot of mistakes, but I'm just playing it stupidly. What am I doing? I have no idea. But it's chess. There is always the chance to make a mistake for anyone. Anyone can make mistakes. Where is the mistake, man? Can you make a mistake? Hmm. My gut is destroying me. It's completely destroying. But defensive resources are there. Chekitito on G2 is in the air. Okay, he took this one. Let's try this. Pick up the disowned pawn. Now we're back. Completely fine. Winning probably. Yeah. Playing badly first part of the game is normal for me. Okay. Yeah, this end game I will be able to win. For sure. Yeah. Mm hmm Coming. Coming to your city. Okay, and the rook. Mm. Very upsetting.
we'll keep taking everything simply and winning the game. Let me read your questions there. Okay, we have started. Hello, Taymor. Hello, chess fans. Hello, Raja Vob. Ampe Opel. Okay. Wishing the best of success to all competitors today. Iron Man's. Hello, all. Avenge05. Hello, Taymor. He's from Malta. Hi, man. Oh, actually, I've played this guy right now. CT Hake. Uh, Beer Baron. Hi, all good luck, guys. Alex Cockward. 1302 Salut Raja, hello Dutch Defender, hi Tamer, hi all Mark Dillon, hi all Dutch Defender, Balash Arato, hi all Dutch Defender, hi BRB, hi Balash Seems they know each other Jay Burbano, says hello Aria, hi E4 Fighter, hi Who else is there? Sente, hey Tamer, hi Anup Saxena, hello Fischer Firuja Nice name. Hey, Tamer. Zevich, hi, Tamer, and everyone. Can I play him? Okay, Anup Saxena, there is a question. Do super GMs really need a super computer? And super phone and super home? What else? I don't know is a great answer in science. Well, super GMs, they really need a good computer with, like, good engine to support their opening work and generally checking the lines, checking their games afterwards and so on. So yeah, they do need the good computer and engines. Okay. I'm just checking if there are questions or just hellos. Balash Arato says Rajabov greets from Budapest. Yeah, one of my favorite cities. Yeah, so guys, please uh, send the, the questions where would be kind of kind of cool. Um, so let me see the other chat in YouTube as well. How much Roger Buff they say? Okay, nice. <laughs> nice. Rishi Gora says, Mr. Raja, next podcast with Samai. Yeah, today was with Chuchilov. Next one, we will see. Um, Natik Ahmedov says, are you attentive with your diet? No. From time to time, when preparing for the tournament, yes. Hilol Banerjee, when is the academy opening? Well, the first session starts on 22nd of March, Hilol. So it's fine. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll read it later, guys. I need to start the game and then we can talk again anyway. Banter bleeds. Banter bleeds. Um, let's go. Yep. Okay. John Doe says, if you could, please check Twitch too for comments. Um, Rushal Shah says, can you tell lineups for major? I think they'll be announced. I think they'll be announced, actually. Actually, says, do you really believe in engine moves? Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, they're super cool in general. The engines are very strong. So, okay, let me answer the, the, the move there. Oh, already 30 seconds. Fine. Yeah, we'll go for knight c3 and maybe queen b3 also. With this c4, you can try from time to time queen b3 move because b7 is uh, vulnerable after bishop g4. And then black has to decide how to defend it. Probably some kind of stuff like c5 is possible somewhere here, but uh, still, white is attacking b7, so they want to go for h3 later on. Oh, uh, maybe it does. Still B7 is hanging from time to time. Not exactly now, but yeah. End game is fine for me. I'll open up the A line. We'll, we'll threaten with um, Knight B5. 
also want to take the control over the center with e4, and black has to do something with the bishop on the fate. Either they go for g6, trying to develop, then I can go for knight b5, let's say. And this will be pretty nasty, because knight c7 is a threat. Um, what else they can do? I think white's position is preferable here for sure. So even this is probably possible. Maybe not the best, I don't know. It's playing it good. But I'll bring my king to c2, bishop to d3, play the position with two bishops. Slight edge for white, I guess. Nothing too bad for black as yet, but uh, potentially worse end game, of course. Yeah. King to d1 and c2 is my dream. Let's do it. Oh, knight g4 is possible. Okay, I can go king e2 at worst. Fine. Hmm. Yeah, let's defend this guy. Play f3 or h3. Get, oh yeah, h3 maybe to get rid of the knight and not weaken g3 in the future. Also, maybe king to f3 is possible. Uh, yeah, this one is not bad, not bad. This move is actually not bad at all. Okay, let's try to take it. Then we can bring the, mm, the bishop back and play for f4. And h3 stuff. Let me see the chat. Okay, let me just do the move. Yeah, f4, then h3, maybe king to f3. Trying to play for for the central um, activity. It's playing it good. Very nice game of you, Potsol. Very nice uh, piece placement and everything. This is maybe a bit too much. Maybe playing to f6 was better. I don't know. Um, playing it really nicely, man. Very, very good way of playing it. Okay, he collapsed because of the time, but he was playing it nicely. Yeah. <clears throat> um, no, okay, let's try to go on with the games. Mm -hmm. Tiger, Tiger. Tiger, Tiger. Super system at work. Okay. Aggressive, aggressive intention.
Our plan is clear as always. First, we can start with A6 as usual. Yeah, and then go for G5 and see what's going on. Direct launch of the attack, knight g6, knight f4, rook g8, g4. This is the plan. Uh, how it works, nobody knows. So, do you think, guys, after b5, he wants to sacrifice on b5 with the knight? He may, he may, he may, he may. So, no need to go for that. Yeah, that's dangerous stuff. Dangerous stuff. Playing not cautiously, let's be fair. Just trying to do something crazy. Some strangely aggressive chess, unnecessarily. Let's try stupid chess for a while and see if it somehow works or not having doubts of it being the working strategy. <laughs> what is the move now guys if there is any if there is any move now what it is like um tricky stuff yeah Tricky, tricky stuff. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what's the move now. Maybe there is no move. Let's go there. Okay, the sacrifice, not so sure. Yeah, the position is very interesting. That's why I'm just interested in the position. What is going on? Yeah, queen f3 he had to go. This is too much. Okay, this is a good one, but still position seems to be lost after queen d6 maybe. Yeah, he played a great game. He had winning position probably. 
but I'm still, still going to stick to B6. Let's go on there in the chat. Um, yeah. Now king to g7 maybe. Yeah, I'm two three. Yeah, I'm completely winning. Great game. Not by me, but my by my opponent. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to play all of the tournaments as much as I can of this Champions Tour, of course. Um, yeah, that's the point. Yeah, why not? I like it. Balash from Budapest. Yeah. Um, let me see the YouTube chat. Yeah, Albert Knapp is asking, is there a chess book you suggest? I would suggest to you Zurich 53 by Bronstein. It's a great, great book explaining chess in different ways nicely and um, very instructive. Very, very instructive. Okay, I can put my queen on b3 to attack b7. This is my next move, I guess, queen b3. Uh, okay, 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 Bishop, let's go somewhere. Queen to b3, Bishop to e2, knight to e4, maybe. Yeah, this is already some kind of concession, because you see he goes for g5, he has the e6 pawn there, so both ways this, like, you know, a3 f8 diagonal and uh, a1 h8 diagonal is open now for the bishop when he really needs just one one of one of these diagonals and g5 certainly just weakens the structure on the king's flank so you should avoid such moves if you want to have a good position as black in the opening usually you don't go that fast g5 or if you go g5 there should be like in ragozin there should be some uh, uh, direct idea after this, some 94 coming or something very, very fast, fast and um, dynamic. Because otherwise, um, strategical factors are really bad for Black now. Look at G5 pawn. I will certainly try to undermine it with H4, trying to already play on the H line. Now potentially I can move my knight to E5, depending on what um, Black will do here. So they sacrifice the people, and I think I can take it. 
and play b7 next. Or knight e5 is my main intention. Okay, let's take this one. Probably he has to go for bishop d6 or something. Oh, maybe he can't. After bishop d6, I can go b7, rook a7, bishop takes d6, queen d6, queen b6, winning the rook. Mm. What is the way here to win this? Oh, can I go? Oh, bishop c7, queen d7, b7, rook a7, queen b6. Queen b6. Because I cannot take bishop b8 because of rook b7. Yeah? So can I go bishop c7, queen d7, b7, rook a7, queen b6. I think I can. Let's try it. Because if queen c8, then b7 just pinning the queen and rook. Queen e7 makes no difference anyway. c4 I will take on d8, cb I will take on f6. One of the possibilities. Maybe the best, yeah. yeah. So now he will have to play queen d7 or e7. I don't know if I'm missing anything there, maybe. Not seeing it. Yeah, it seems to be winning. Okay, let me read some stuff there in the chat. Uh, Utkarsh King says, how to calculate like um, a GM? You have to work a lot, you have to train a lot, you have to calculate, make a lot of stuff on this, of course. Have to train a lot. Yeah, c4 is what I was discussing. Takes and takes on f6. Now I'm a piece up. Next move a takes b3, opening the a line. Bishop to b5, b7 is in the air. Okay, I guess bishop b5 is possible. Check. Then if king f8, I can go bishop d8. Mm. Okay, let's take this guy there. Let's play b7. Pick up the a pawn. Okay, and just let me read some stuff. Uh, Sidan Trash says Queen A4 was winning the Queen. No, no, Queen D7 was there. Queen D7 by Black. So next rook takes A6. King to E2. Black is doomed here without a piece, of course. This is just a nice show of this G5. Very, very early. Pretty early. Now I will take on d7, then take on b8. And black's position just uh, falls apart, let's say. Yeah. Thanks for the game, Balash. Guys, please challenge me unrated. I'm asking you to do so. Babet 1. Babet 1.
Okay, bishop to e7. Preparing some rogue group massive attack on the flank. If you are into rogue guys. Massive attack. Yeah. Oh, can I go for G4 now? Our favorite idea and rook G8. Next. Ooh, 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 knight h2 was not expected by me. I'll try to bring as many pieces as possible to the flank. Maybe take them, play knight f6, then queen d7, castle long. Doesn't matter if it works or not. It's just fun to do it. Try some tricks. Hmm. Yeah, then I want to go for some knight f6, maybe. Bishop h4 to g3, possibly. Um, I think one you are doing something wrong there on the... <laughs> I think there is some text and stuff that we can see of yours. Check out the YouTube video. Yeah, I can see all the schedule. Vanessa is uh, kind of, uh, um, okay. Yeah, we can see the pictures of everyone, or every, every member of Chess24 team already. Now it's fine. Okay, cool. No, no, I'm I'm okay. I'm just saying about the, the, the transmission itself, like the broadcast. I'm fine to read your messages, it's okay. Okay. Yeah, Boomer Moments gives you some good stuff. Oh, he did the move. Queen E1, Queen G5. Ah, I'm, I was threatening, mate. Didn't work. Yeah. Decent stuff. I like my Queen on F4. The dark squares. Ooh la la. Bishop to e5. Oh my god. Yeah, that's that that's the best one, maybe. I don't know, bishop e3. How can I bring the bishop now to e5? Mm. <sighs> annoying, annoying. The time factor plays not in his favor for sure now. I am back with my bishop. Pointing at e5. Oh my god, how can I do this? Okay, let's go there. Again. Come on, man. Stop doing this to me. What is this? What's going on? Chuck Chuck. I'll finally take, oh my God, he defended it again. Ah. Poof. Just a move. Simple retreat. H4 and Knight H4, oh, 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 that's too much. Yeah. Thank you. 
Yep. GG Hadid, as usual. So Okay, let me see the chat. And let's go with B6 again. Try to play fast. Nine G to F six. A three B four is very suspicious. In any case, even if white is fine here, of course. Ooh, too far, too far, man, too far, man. Asked us where is where are you going? Why are you giving me four so fast, man? Now I can play calm this position, of course. F5 is coming and A5 is possible and all that stuff. C6, I will undermine it probably. Or B5 even. That's where the bishop goes. And the bishop goes to... Yeah, I'll pick up the c4 pawn and see. Pick up Ito. Okay, should I... Yeah. If BA, I will take on it. Um, actually, ninety three, queen d three. Yeah. If I see two, yeah, I see two. This one is not good. I'll take the bishop and pick up the e four one. Yeah. Now it's good for me. Mm -hmm. um. Let me find the people who wrote there. Mm -hmm. Let's go for this one, Fisher, Firuja. Yeah, okay, just developing for now. Let's see what he plays for here. Rook to d1 will be natural.
Yeah, I think I'm a pawn up simply here without any compensation for black. Castle then queen to b3 would be nice, but yeah, then rook to c1. Mm. Maybe like this. Also, a6 is hanging, so I can take the next next move, maybe on a6. <clears throat> let's see, let's see. Yeah, I mean, bishop takes a6 as a threat, so. Mm -hmm. Not interested that much in this rook. Oh, now interested maybe, and then d6, d7. Yeah, now then we'll double on D, play A4, play it calm. Yeah, now let's uh, find a way to enter the, uh, to enter through the B7 or D6, maybe with the queen. Queen to D6, trying to exchange it. Queen to B6, I guess. G4 is not going anywhere much. This stuff shouldn't work. This stuff shouldn't work simply because of what? Because of what it shouldn't work, the question comes. Yeah. Now my idea is to take on d8 and play a8. Yeah, oh yeah, that's what I wanted exactly. And a d8. Yeah. Let's see how fast it goes, this one. Can I make all the fast moves? Without too much consideration? Okay, he didn't want to play. He was absent, probably. Um, let's go against Jay Burbano. Let's see how he develops here. Ship to seven next. Pawn to a6, we know the basics. Yeah. Yeah, probably next one. A6 as usual. I don't know. I want to experiment with GFF H5. Anish also wanted to do this. Okay, let's. I don't know. Let's maybe do this way. Let's try knight F6 first. Our classical way of playing it.
H6 and G5, our classical ID. Very, very nice. Thinking now. Okay. Next, I would go for knight g4 and play g5, h5. Why? Why did I play a6? Mm, completely unnecessary thing. Just unnecessary. Massive attack is more panic attack here. Yeah. And what should I do now? Can I try this? Mm. Not a great decision, probably. Not too bad as well. Yeah. Beautiful, fantastic. Stupidity of mine has no limits, but okay. Want to cast a long one day, if he allows me to. Jay Burbano. Oh yeah, this goes not that well. Not going great. Okay, okay, I have to think what to do here. The situation is not great. Not great situation. I don't know, D4. Let's try this. Let's try to confuse as much as we can. Okay, trying to, to exchange queens. Not a bad idea, not a bad idea. Let's be fair. This is pretty normal stuff. What about his end games, do you think, guys? Is he good in end games? Let's see. Calmizardo. Let's see where he puts his pieces. And let's be fast. Because this puts additional pressure when you're fast. He should start making mistakes at some point. 
Um, at which point, I'm not sure, but at some point, they said he should. Where is the back to reality? Let's see. Let's go around. Okay, let's bring the king to c5, but do it in the right way. What is the way to bring the king to c5? Let's sing, guys. From d7, I can because he will take on d5. Hmm. I'll first put the rook on g5. Oh, 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 J. Burbano. This was bad, but great game by you anyway, man. Congrats, it was a good game. But this is, yeah, unfortunate, man. You're playing it very good. Um, Mm, let me see. Okay. Yeah, guys, check out uh, the um, the today's talk with um, podcast talk. I can call it about all the stuff on my YouTube channel with the uh, with Chuchilov. Was really nice. Was really really nice. Both the academy launch, of course, with him. I'm very proud of, and uh, the fact that I think I there was it was a great interview in general. So it was cool was cool was cool so yep let me see the the names um Oh, link channel. Yeah, yeah, I can give the link to the channel. Let me see. Where's the link to the channel? Well, I think this one works. Pretty fine. Does it work for you? Is it clickable or? I'm not sure if it's clickable. What's wrong with it? Why is it not clickable? Okay. Anyway, let me make the move. Uh, oh, okay. He played it. Yeah, d5. Nice. Oh my god, 45 seconds lost simply. Bye bye, 45 seconds. We we'll have to be fast here. Fast and furious. Ooh. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, take this one. Mm. Okay, this and then want to take play 94 before and stuff. How can I play this knight d4? Bishop e2, maybe like this, yeah. Knight d4 and bishop e2, maybe. Um, yeah, and bishop e2. Okay. Okay, Ito. Attacking or not. Mm. Should 
Bishop F3 next after Bishop H3. He will probably go for this with the tricks. <clears throat> next Bishop F3. Um, yeah, pretty decent stuff. Bishop F3, King to H1 next. Uh, yeah, okay. Should page five and f four maybe? Well, I'm having a pawn up, so it's clear that my position is good. But uh, to win is another story, right? Next b three after knight c four if he goes there. Okay, he doesn't. Yeah, I'm bringing this one back. This one also back, just not in order for anything not to hang there somehow. Unexpectedly at some point it may. Maybe going for a4 and b5 can be really nice. What about this? Triquito. Triquito. Yeah, and then H3. Yeah, chess for life says why choosing the low rated players. Uh, because I have explained many times, if you have seen it before, I don't know, but I guess not if you're asking this question. The point for me is to play against the players that uh, do not get a chance to play against the world's um, uh, top players, grandmasters, and so on. So uh, I don't see a point here, let's say, to come here and play a match against Giri or Vidit or I don't know anyone else or Karyakin. That's kind of strange because I'm playing them in the tournaments and we've played countless amount of games. And against amateurs that want to have a chance and play the game and it's like they want to try themselves in this game. And also it's, it's fun, of course. Yeah, I see that this is the purpose of mine here to give a chance to anyone, to any uh, rated player. On the side to play otherwise it's just a match against some grandmaster of a top level or any grandmaster or international master like kind of training for me then instead of instead of uh, giving the chance to others to play with us good development by Zolsnox. Knight g2 is 7, castle and a6. Moves that you make by hand in this kind of positions. Oh, this one, knight d4, let's meditate like this because knight takes d4, c takes d4. And uh, there is a fork, yeah, like this, you see, he, he fell into this one. He fell into this one, yeah. This is very bad for, for white, of course. Yeah. Yeah, guys, I'm simply for the banter. I'm not here for the training matches. That's as simple as that. I want to play the amateurs. I want to play the players that uh, that are asking for the games all the time online when I'm there, like on Instagram, Twitter, and everywhere. So I'm happy to play against them when I have, of course, time and possibility to do so. And this gives the possibility to us and to the amateurs and to any 
a player that wants to challenge uh, Grandmasters. Yeah, okay, e5 now uh, with the piece up, this position is certainly bad, of course. Also, the pawn on c4 is very vulnerable, so I will just first take the pawn on d4, then bring some bishop to g4 or e6, maybe. Yeah, bishop to e6. If he goes f3. Okay, he gives this maybe knight e2 is possible now. And knight takes on c3. Um, yeah, I'm trying to read the chat, but sometimes I'm also playing, so... As you can see. Yep. Okay, let's go for some other games. Um, it's five minutes game. Let's see what he wants to do in this in this type of position. Ragozin playing. Ragozin is on the board. Now the threat is somewhere to take on d5, play queen b3, maybe. First, let's try to get rid of this bishop. Yeah. Um, if he goes for g5, guys, what do you think? Should I sacrifice on g5? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see what he wants to do next. Somewhere he will try to get rid of the spin probably because otherwise it's so unpleasant yeah he goes for this let's take it now he cannot go e5 because of c takes d5 and i would be happy to open up the position with e4 somewhere but first let's try this mm. Okay. Mm. What kind of stuff can I do here? Kind of stuff like this. I could go, of course, if five was a huge advantage, but let's try this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had a sort of playing rook g3 somewhere, but knight takes e4 in. Not a great decision by me. Nobody cares, as usual. I know, guys, I know. Nobody cares. You have to act and win and so on, and that's it. Not too many talks. Okay. There is a feeling that should work somehow. I'm just moving the pieces stupidly. But there is a feeling that something should work, like g6, queen h7, rook h7. I'm not calculating. I just want to see. But it should be unpleasant for black. 
Um, Yeah, g6 and yeah, now it's hanging. Okay, rook g7. Okay, chain. Oh, that is the beautiful way to win this. Let me see, let me see. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I play this. Okay, let's try this. Queen three, I did queen g five mate. Rook g six, probably he will go. I guess so. If he sees queen g5 check, yeah. Now takes, for example, check. Yeah. Okay, okay. Ducalarti thirty three. Let's see how he reacts to this kind of stuff. Very interested. Tricky Luciano. Ooh, cheat, 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 cheat. Isn't it tricky? The knight is eyeing e3. Different type of d takes, whatever. Wherever, whenever. I'll be fine and I'll be you. Mm -hmm. Whatever, wherever. Okay, which one? Which one? Which one? Take this. Uh -huh. Okay, take. Um... This maybe. Can I take this guy there? Then I want to take on e5 and play for bishop c5 maybe. With some tricks and threads. Not sure which. Yeah, and this I wanted to counter with this kind of stuff. I think it works. Yeah.
Um, okay, let me try and play a few more. I had a tough day today. I had a, an interview kind of stuff, podcast kind of stuff with Chuchilov. Then I also had some stuff to do between the sessions and then then the banter bleeds. Beside the things I had to do in the in an afternoon. So just finally want to have my rest tonight. Okay, this one. D loader four. Oh, don't go back that much, man. Oh, you gave me so much space, space advantage. Yeah, I'll castle, castle short and then play for rookie one and stuff. Yes. Bishop to g5. Yeah, you see, all of my pieces are developed. You shouldn't play like this, I mean, passively. Yeah. Now I have to think how to, to, to break the the position in the center. Maybe e5, then take on e7 and play for knight e4. One of the options. The other one is to play bishop b1 and put the queen on c2 somewhere and try to play for this. Let's try some small tricks here with the ideas of knight d5 and stuff. Maybe e5 first. Tricky now. The queen on a5 is under attack. After e5, knight d5, knight takes d5, let's say. Plenty of stuff. Yeah, for this one, and then, okay, bishop to g3. I mean, the problem of black is that they don't have too much options, too many options. Um, he has to think where to put the pieces as well. Not easy. I also have to be careful about some stuff, of course, to control the position fully. But... Uh, I have an easier play, of course. I can go for e5. Mm, just have to see how to attack the the queen there. Can I go like this, maybe? Can I bring the bishop to b3, d1? Have to find how to to win that queen. Hmm. Mm, I mean, I can possibly go to a4 and d1. Maybe go with a queen to e3 and then try to attack that queen there on h5. Bishop d1, queen g5. How can I? Win the queen. Queen g5. Okay, he started a bit too early. Maybe. I'll have to find a way to bring the knight there, the bishop. Knight of g queen h5, bishop d1. Trying to get to this queen. Come on. Come on, man. Oh my god. Let's try this then. 
if the direct stuff doesn't work, we can go for this. Maybe also bishop c2 is a threat now. I'm not sure. Takes. Open the file. Now bishop goes to c2. Queen to h5. Ah, come on. How to win this queen? It's so annoying. Mm, I got queen bishop c2, queen h5. Stupid in h5. King h2, maybe. Possibly king h2. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Bishop c2, queen a. Oh, yeah, this one. But this should be bad. As well. And now probably different ways are winning. And different ways are winning. And I'm not seeing the single way to win this. Hmm. Non pleasant. Okay, let's take the the pawn. The pawn is a pawn, then bishop page four and ninety-five. Yeah. I guess. Mm -hmm. Now the queen is finally trapped. Queen f7, knight e5, almost, but okay, g5 is there. Didn't see it at all. So bishop g3, knight e5 next. Once the queen will be trapped, finally. Oh, now finally it's gone. And bishop e5, oh yeah. Okay, let's go for the last one. Yeah, let's go our opening. Which is already classics of my banter blitz. Okay, next time I promise I will change the line. We'll play different openings. Just want to see this approach, how it works in the blitz games. I've used this line to beat uh, Nepomnishi in the second game where I had to win as black and I've managed. Which was really unexpected to be, uh, to tell you the truth, but did my best there. And somehow he didn't play it well. So I guess my next move is c5, queen to c7. With this f3 and knight 2 he doesn't allow me to go for knight g4 stuff. So it's a bit more complicated. Yeah, I want to go for C4 now. Let's see how he reacts to this. C4 is threatening. Okay, knight to C5. Now I should castle go for rook F D8 and play for D5. Typical Sicilian play. His F3 pawn will be kind of strange. Looking pawn there after D5. Initiative in the center. Mm -hmm. Not too pretty, but just fine. Mm, what 
is this move? What is this move? What is this move? It's completely unexpected stuff. Um, then just want to castle short. Okay, castle short and queen to d7. Yeah, after knight c5, I will take on c5, play rook f8 and play for e5. Next move, I want to play for e5. That's my idea. And maybe knight to e4, even. Yeah. Hard to react to this. This is really unpleasant. Rookie two is coming. Queen H three is in the air as well. Yeah, this is winning. The system works still, but uh, already some signs of signs of problems. Queen f5 or queen h2 is coming. Queen g4 as well. Yeah. Okay, queen g4, can I go there? G4. Guess I can. Yeah, this is winning. The mate. The mate is given. Yeah. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Next time, please, 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 please don't forget to challenge me. Um, to challenge me with the, uh, you know, the unrated. Um, yeah, of course, go premium, subscribe to Chess24's uh, Chess24, and um, also subscribe to my YouTube channel, please, because we're making a lot of nice streams. And uh, yeah, today was a good one with Chichilov, and the link is given, I think, in the chat. So yeah, I don't know, for me, it doesn't work that well, but uh, I'm trying to give it, but only Chess24 in Espanol, you can see the link. And on the channel, we do a lot of stuff, and I'm finally back fully to the streaming mode as well. So thank you so much for today and I uh, hope you enjoyed my talk today as well with uh, Chuchilov. I really enjoyed it, as I said before. And uh, yeah, okay, let's do maximum for the sake of chess. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in and thank you for the games. Have a great evening. Bye-bye and see you soon for the other sessions on Chess24 and YouTube. Bye-bye. Thank you so much.